Okay. For this assignment, you will create a 10-minute PowerPoint presentation which will demonstrate your knowledge of biological and environmental factors that influence preconception and prenatal health and development. I realize this is a very vague assignment with lots of possibilities. You must remember, this is an advanced class. You are advanced students taking this course to be leaders in your field. You need to be able to clearly demonstrate your knowledge of development. We have spent the past five weeks discussing development through birth, including brain development both before and after birth. Each of your presentation must cover all of the following concepts. Prenatal care, genetic influences on prenatal development, environmental influences on prenatal development, and teratogens. Your presentation must cover all of the above topics with enough depth to clearly demonstrate your understanding of the topic. You can choose how much you discuss each topic. Some might only warrant a few sentences, while others will need much greater detail. The main topic of this first research presentation is one of the three student learning outcomes of this course. What does that mean? Well, that this topic is a core concept of the course. One way to think about this assignment is if you were to be giving a lecture to students, what would you include? To clearly demonstrate your knowledge, I expect you to use five different sources. I have decided not to place many limitations on the sources you use, but here is my word of caution. The sources you choose should be sound and research based. Although I'm not making you look for sources, Wikipedia is the only source you may not use. If you have a question as to whether a source you have chosen is acceptable, contact me and I can check it out for you. When in doubt, ask. Your presentation must include a minimum of 15 different PowerPoint slides with at least three different images. Again, it will be up for you to decide what images you feel should be included. I encourage you to include images you are most comfortable discussing. The images should not be just thrown into the PowerPoint without clear explanation of their importance. Don't forget to provide citation for any sources you use. Almost all of the information on each slide will most likely be from outside sources and not your own brain. You will probably discover you have a few citations on each slide. At the end of the slideshow, I expect the last slide to be a complete works cited page. You can review some information on citing sources in the student information station. The link is found on our course homepage. Now for the complicated part of the assignment. You will actually be presenting in front of me and possibly one or more peers sometime before the end of week 12. Yes, I am giving you a six week window to sign up for presentations. The great thing about online courses is that we are not limited to the time the class meets to make presentations. Canvas has a tab titled conferences, which allows PowerPoint to be loaded and then presented on. You will need to contact me within one week to sign up for your presentation date and time. In fact, signing up for presentations is the only assignment you must turn in this week. The rest of your energy should be spent starting on this project. I highly recommend getting the presentation over with as soon as possible, as we will have two more major projects before the semester ends. I would hate for you to have three major presentations saved until the last few weeks of the class. Once you have signed up for a presentation date, I will create a conference and invite everyone in the class. I know everyone has very different schedules, so I do not expect you to show up for every presentation date, but you must show up for at least one live presentation. The presentations can be given anytime between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., but we will need to find times when I am available as I do need to be at each and every live presentation. You must evaluate two of your peer presentation using the rubric found on the assignment requirements.
each presentation evaluate each pre presentation evaluate two of your peers' presentations using the rubric found in the assignment requirements. Each presentation will be recorded and posted for 14 days. You can either attend two live sessions or you can attend one live session and view the recorded presentation of another. Either option is fine, but you must evaluate two of your peers. You will submit each evaluation under the different assignment. They will be aptly titled Peer Evaluation Slow Number 1 and Peer Evaluation Slow Number 2. I will be evaluating your presentation with the same rubric you will use to evaluate your peers. Your presentation will be worth 50 points and your peer evaluation is worth 25 points. The assignment total is 100 points. You will not pass the class without completing this assignment.